Hi guys, Mac here for the second part of the tutorial how to create a slider element with Element Studio for ByteDance. So first things I need to change is the dynamic data. I saw a message from uh, Dion, uh, sorry if I misspelled your name. Uh, it tried to do the same element, but he has a problem with the advanced custom field gallery field that doesn't work properly. So I check and yes, he's right, it doesn't work. I have created here. Uh, maybe I need to modify a little things first. So thumb slider here. Let's go back to my image and put here gallery. Okay. So and then let's add I have not like this. Uh, okay, I have a um, custom field gallery here called Super Gallery already there. And yes, it doesn't work. The image doesn't throw up. And the solution actually is pretty simple. Because if we check the gallery element, that works in a very similar way. So we have a gallery here. And if we select the custom field here, it works fine. And why the reason is simple. They don't use the WP media in gallery mode. I think it's an odd option because it doesn't work properly with the dynamic data. They use instead a repeater with an image and a WP media as a child. So let's do the same here. Like that, we'll move the gallery here. So instead of having image WP media control with enable gallery mode, we change it to a repeater. And inside, we use the image element with a WP media, and we don't enable the gallery mode, but we force enable the uh, file type only image, and that's it. Here for the gallery, there is actually a gallery mode, so we enable it. We select the media path for the image, that one, and uh, and that's it. Now if I go back here, so first let's add some uh, image. Yes, we have to change the code. I forgot. So add item, ah, yes, we can change, add item to add image instead, and maybe put a uh, white, okay. Uh, I guess we have to change a little things in the code here. This is a macro and item image for the oops, slider image. And that's it. And now if I clear that and I open the dynamic uh, gallery, it show up as expected. So it was a pretty easy fix. And that's it. Okay, let's save that. Okay, so what I want to add now is to add the, the navigation. So for the navigation, I want to add the arrow using the arrow control in Element Studio. I don't want to use the arrow from uh, Swiper because it's pretty limited and uh, we can do it by ourselves here. So let's add, uh, I want to add arrow only in the main slider, not for the thumbnail because it works a bit weird with thumbnail. Most of the time there is no arrow here, but we just want to have an option um, right there. So to have an arrow right and left of the main slider here and uh, as an option. So first let's add a, a little uh, new second slider. Navigation and toggle. Line, okay. 
Now let's add icon controller and we call it our left and another one our right icon. Okay, so we have our left, our right, where we can choose the icon. But we need to only enable it when we enable the navigation toggle. So let's add up here, but here a little control. So I call that navigation, right? So if it's set, okay, it's the same here. Navigation, right, set. So now the option only show up when we want. Okay, so now let's add the arrow here. So if you check the code, there's a big, big uh, part of code here. We are not going to use that one. It kind of works, but I think it's the old method. We need to use a macro that already exists only if we change, if we add the design. So let's go back here and we are going to use uh, maybe a uh, navigation here. So let's add a control second, control navigation, then let's add a preset icon, icon design, and then we call it uh, powers. Okay. And now we have all the code here. We have the HTML code and the CSS code. First, let's add the HTML. So we can't add it inside our swapper container. We can add it here. So we want two. Let's add one first because we need to change a couple things here. So we need the two icons, one for the left, one for the right. First, let's add a class. So term, how can I call that term? Slider left. We need the path for the icon. Path to rotate, false, so that one we don't need. Let's remove it. Path to link is for the control, for the link, we don't need any link here. And that one, it was the white one. So what is the path to icon? It's what we have here. And I find it somewhere here. It's so small. Okay, content slider, our left. So let's go back right here. It's a content slider our left. We need a second one called uh, right, our right here. And we use the same uh, same design option. All right, so we have our icon here. Let's check if it works. We need to add a little uh, condition. Okay. Okay. Can we start it? No, we can't start it right now. So maybe, ah, oh yes. Because we need to add the CSS right here. Okay, CSS, let's go back there. We have a macro, we can change. Uh, what is the class name? Um, Thomas slider left, right, and thumb slider right. Okay, so we can change the color, we can change the size, we have all the control we want here. So the things we need to add, it's uh, a little uh, Condition. Not right here, but uh, where is uh, 
why is there condition okay so we have a condition here let's add it to our code right so you only show up when we click here okay the thing is we need to add the arrow the icon in the main slider so we are going to add a new container div class uh, i don't have a name right now but i will add it just after okay uh, let's call that uh, term uh, slider main or container or the container okay and now let's add maybe let's change it to uh, add um, so wait then position relative okay and now we can add some option for our uh, arrows so how I call them okay right and uh, left and let's change the position so position absolute okay uh, the index maybe probably tend to be sure it's on top of everything 80 percent transform translate y minus 50 percent to be sure is centered and the cursor center okay and now for each one of them at least the white one change the position white zero right so now it's at the white place white or black is a bit more close let's add some real uh, arrows so it looks a bit uh, ah, a mistake let's add that one okay okay so we have uh, our arrows we can easily control or change the, the design so that's pretty cool it's a bit big here, yeah, but anyway, okay. Okay, whatever. Uh, now let's add the control because uh, they are here, but they don't work. So we need to add a little control here in our swapper container right here. So the, the properties in swapper is navigation. Wave L, okay, and navigation next. And here we use a class we use for the icon, but I need something unique. So selector, forgot the little dot here. For the left one, and for the right one, and let's check if it works. Maybe I need to save and and reload. Oh, okay. 
Maybe if I hold up this over here, okay. And where is the navigation? Okay. Okay. So it doesn't work. Very good. Let's check the front end. No, 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 it works. Okay, okay. So it was just in the back end. Okay. Let's go back here. Change the color so it's a bit more obvious. And our left. Okay. Let's save everything. Reload. Reload here. We click. It works fine. Ah, okay, okay. I just need to reload properly. So it works fine here too. Okay, so it's a pretty nice option. Uh, if you want, uh, not sure if I have an option here. Okay, so I have a padding op option for the um, thumbnail slider, but I don't have a padding option for the slider, the main slider. So let's add that. Let's have a little bit more uh, control and padding. Okay. And then what we can do is to add that to the CSS here. So it's a main slider, okay. It should be there, so let's, put, let's add that here, okay. Add, okay. And let's try that. If I add a 20, 20, maybe. 40, 40, oh, 40. Now our arrow are outside, still in the main uh, container, but outside the slider, just by adding some uh, padding here. So that's pretty cool. We can add the same padding. I add 20, so I can add uh, the same here 20. 20. Oh, it was uh, more than 20, it was uh, 40. Okay. Forty, forty. Right. So and uh, oh, do I have an option to? Yeah, yeah. So I can have uh, what we can do. For example, we can uh, when it's very wide, have the arrow there, and on mobile mode, put zero, zero. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so that's it for the navigation. And uh, I will make uh, another tutorial, probably very soon, to add more options. And um, to add maybe the pag pagination and some other stuff. All right, so see you next time.